Hey, what up guys? Tyler Sassy here, Western Welling Academy. Hey, lots of trash talk out there about tungsten, how to use it, why it matters. Today, I got four pieces of tungsten here. I've sharpened all the ends. They're sharpened all differently. This is a quick little video on my recommendations and what's important to me when I'm TIG welding. All right, so check it out. The biggest thing with the tungsten is the grind angle. A real steep grind, that's gonna put an arc out at more of a laser beam, and a long grind angle, that's gonna really flare that arc out. So when I say steep, if this is your tungsten, and you sharpen it to a real steep point, that's gonna send that arc out more in a laser beam, versus if we do a real long point on that tungsten, that's gonna really flare that arc out. So a long, real long point, that's gonna send the arc into the walls of the pipe or the plate, whatever you're welding. It's great for like back feeding and lay wiring. You want a steeper grind on that tungsten. All right, so this is the real short grind right here. And you look, it's from this end distance to the top of the grind. So from the end to the top of the grind. That's the distance. When I talk about distance, that's a short. This one is long. So from the end of the tungsten to the top of the grind, this one here, it's gonna flare that arc out a little bit more and put the heat in the walls of the pipe. That's gonna be important if you're back feeding and you wanna put a lot more heat into the walls of the pipe. Something like this is gonna serve you a lot better when you're doing a lay wire route and you wanna really drive that root pass into the pipe. So short grind for lay wire, long grind for back feed. That's what I recommend. Now, my personal preference is something right in the middle. Top of the grind to the point, it's about two times tungsten diameter. So this is eighth inch tungsten, two times. I got about a quarter inch from the top of the grind to the end of the tungsten, same thing. And I sharpen almost all my tungsten in this manner because it gives me this happy medium. I'm able to be real versatile with this tungsten at a medium grind length. The other thing to really, really note is you'll notice all the grind marks go to the point. I used the Dewalt drill for this on a bench grinder and I brought all the lines to a point, that's gonna keep that arc from twisting. It's gonna keep the arc from coming off real straight and smooth. If you've got your lines going sideways, it's gonna give you a little bit of arc flare and arc wander. The arc's not gonna to wanna to come off real straight and smooth. So biggest thing is keeping the lines to the point. Best way to do that is with a bench grinder and a drill. The other big thing to note when sharpening with a drill is if you notice how I do it is I sharpen down with the wheel rolling this way. What that does is it takes all the tungsten shavings and dumps them on the ground. A lot of people want to tilt up with the drill at the bottom. And what that does is it pulls all the tungsten shavings into the chuck of the drill. And when I was 12 years old learning how to sharpen tungsten, I literally destroyed a nice Dewalt drill and it was my dad's drill and he didn't like it that much. And I've never forgot that important little lesson, how to sharpen tungsten. Don't send the tungsten down into the chuck of the drill. All right, let's do a little welding. So this one here is the short grind. Very, very sharp, short grind, laser precision. You see that arc coming off there really straight. It's gonna be straight, it's gonna make my edges really straight. No flare, very little flare out into the puddle. Almost like a laser beam. All right, so this one is a lot longer grind. This one has a lot more arc flare. It's putting a lot more heat. It's the heat spreading out a lot easier. A lot more arc flare, it's putting a lot of heat more into the walls versus the last one was a tighter grind and had, had an arc come off that tungsten more like a laser beam. This one is a lot more flared, a lot bigger flare. All right, so check it out. What that was was the short grind and the long grind. It was short grind was a laser, long grind was a big arc flare. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the medium grind, which is what I prefer this is how I sharpen my tungsten. Let's see how this welds. As you can see, this right here is a medium grind and it's a good happy medium right in between laser and flare mode. It's real smooth, real consistent. It's a good happy medium in between the two grinds. This is a quarter inch from the point to the top of the grind. And this is what I prefer when I'm TIG welding, right here. Dude, listen. 94% of you people are watching our videos, but you're not subscribed. What's wrong with you? Hit that subscribe button, smash the bell for notifications, 
And best of all, drop me a comment. I always look forward to the commentary in the comment section. So drop me a comment. Let's get this dialogue going. All right, so check it out. What we got here, we got 2% thorated tungsten. There's a lot of tungsten out there on the market, but this is what we call red tip. This is made by Midwest Tungsten Service. So these guys do all things tungsten. In my opinion, they're the best tungsten in the world. We only run red tip because that's what you use for carbon steel, stainless steel. It's the best tungsten in the game. So what you just got to see is you got to see this red tip tungsten. You got to see a, a real tight grind and you got to see a real long grind. One of the things that a real tight grind is going to do for you is it's going to give you a laser punch. So when you're putting a root pass in on a pipe, it, it's going to really drive that root in there. But one of the things that can happen is it's too laser sharp. And when you're capping, if it's too laser sharp, it can cause just a little bit of undercut or underfill on the edges of the cap. So that's one of the things that could happen with too tight of a grind, too much laser is on the edges of the cap, you could get some undercut. With a little bit more arc flare on a longer grind, that's gonna give you a lot more arc flare. That's gonna be a lot better for capping. It's gonna give a, like a soft, smooth, buttery cap, which is why I prefer something right in the middle. This is what we would say like is a medium grind and it puts a root in great and it caps great. So I prefer the medium tungsten grind, just does all around. I definitely, in my tungsten holder, I do keep some some long grind and I do keep some short grind tungstens. It's a tool in your toolbox. You wanna have both, right? But as a overall, I prefer medium grind tungsten. So it's no secret, Western Welding Academy is the best welding school in the nation. Fastest growing, best instructors, most field experience, second to none, all right? The only way you can join us here at Western Welding Academy is go to applytoweld.com and hit that application page. Come and join the tribe here. Tyler Sassy, Western Welding Academy. See you on the next weld.